what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Brie Armstrong for today's video I'm going to be talking about all of my favorite makeup brushes some of these brushes are brushes that I use on myself some of them are some that I keep in my makeup kit to use on clients but I am super excited to say that pretty much all of these brushes are affordable except for one <laughs> there's one brush it was actually the first brush I ever picked up when I first started getting into makeup and it was from Sephora and that brush I would not consider to be affordable but the rest of them all are affordable and are great quality at the price that they are and I did want to quickly mention two things the first thing is YouTube has decided to make it so you guys can't see when I upload a video unless you select this little or click this little bell um, it is on the channel it should be right near the subscribe button there's a little bell and you have to click that in order to get updated when I post new videos. So if you guys want to continue to see when I upload a new video, make sure you click that bell. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is we are so, so, so close to hitting a thousand subscribers on my channel. I am so excited and so thankful for all of my subscribers who have continued to support me and like my content. So when I hit a thousand subscribers, I really want to do another giveaway for you guys. I did a giveaway quite a while back um, on a holiday video that I did, and it was so fun doing that giveaway and getting to share and send a gift with one of my subscribers and see how excited she was to receive it. So I really want to do another one of those, but I'm going to do it as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers. So I would absolutely love your guys' help to help me reach that 1000 subscriber mark so I can do a giveaway. So that's all I needed to tell you guys. If you want to see all my favorite makeup brushes, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with eyeshadow brushes. I have a lot of different eyeshadow brushes from different brands. I've tried to compile them into each brand the best I can, but there are a few randoms. Um, the first one, this is actually that brush that I mentioned that is not affordable. This is the first brush I ever picked up. This is the Sephora Small Shadow Brush. Pro Small Shadow pro small shadow brush and it's just a thin synthetic um, flat shadow brush and this is perfect for packing on bright color all over the lid in the inner corner I use this probably in almost every video because it's just a staple um, it really is such an awesome brush I haven't had to trim any hairs or I haven't had any hairs fall out of it and I've had it for a couple of years now but honestly you can get brushes like this anywhere nowadays and I probably wouldn't recommend going to Sephora to spend $18 on this particular brush, but it has been, it has been a great brush. So I thought I would kind of go in the order of what I think you should have in order to achieve like a good, well-blended eye look. So this brush is from Sedona Lace. I have no idea why I ordered from them. I think it just came up on Facebook one day and I was like, hey, I'm gonna try one of their brushes. So I ordered this brush. Again, it's been an awesome brush. So this is a staple for sure. This is just a large, synthetic, fluffy blending brush. This is their 863. This brush is perfect for just blending out that transition shade in your crease. This is going to ensure you don't have any harsh edges. It will buff the color out so it's not as pigmented and just give you a really nice, soft, blended crease. Now this next brush is from Crown, and I don't know what this one is. It doesn't say it on the brush, but I will have it listed in the description box. So this is honestly the same thing, um, but I think this one is a smidge fluffier, and he's more of a um, natural hair brush. So this one is a little bit softer. I feel like it blows out that crease just a little bit better because it is um, a different type of hair and they probably pick up product a little bit differently like this one would pack on a little bit more color than this one would so if i wanted to go in with a little bit of a darker shade in the crease i would use this one because he won't apply as much product whereas this guy i'd have to use very little product and start um, a little bit softer if that makes sense <laughs> so if you are new to makeup or new to buying brushes I would highly recommend getting a brush like this just so you can make sure you're blending any color that you apply really perfectly another brush that I find to be a staple in my personal use and in my makeup kit is the morphe m433 so this brush is going to be great for packing on um, a little bit more deeper colors right here in this outer corner um, and into the crease as well so usually I'll start with my transition shade on this fluffy one and get that blended 
And then I'll take this with the next darkest shade and start buffing that a little bit tighter, a little bit more dense right there in the outer corner. So this brush will pick up a little bit less product than a synthetic brush will. So I prefer to use darker shades with this brush. That way I am not applying too much product and it blends it out really, really nicely because it does have kind of a tapered shape and it's super, super soft. I really, really like this brush for just deepening up the look. Now this next brush is one of my favorites for my personal use because it fits perfectly in my eye socket, <laughs> I guess you could say. This is the Morphe E17. It is similar to a pencil brush, but it's not quite as pointed. It still has a little bit of a dome shape. Um, this is again a natural hair brush, so it doesn't pick up too much product. And I love, love, love to use this for really packing a darker shade right there. This also fits it's perfectly right underneath the lash line. I just think it blends out my lower lash line so perfectly. Um, it's not overly smoky, but it's also not too defined. So this is just a staple for me as far as just packing darker colors and blending the lower lash line. So now moving to a different brand, another great set of eyeshadow brushes are from BH Cosmetics. These are from the Rose Quartz set. As you can see, they're just a really stunning pink marbled um, design, which I love so, so much. And it does come with a total of how many brushes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think nine. So these are all of the brushes that you will get in the Rose Quartz set. They are stunning. And they have a couple of face and then a couple of eyes. So I use this mostly in my kit right now on clients because they're just great quality. Um, and there's a nice complete set that I can use. But I have used them on myself as well. I've used them in some tutorials and I really, really like them. Now when I tell you guys how much this brush set was, you're gonna die, okay? This whole brush set was $16. $16, I think that's with shipping. They are so inexpensive, but they really are good quality for the price. Um, they probably will lose a couple of hairs here and there, um, but that's okay because I spent $16. <laughs> but really, I have not had hardly any issues with these. They are all super soft, super good quality. I specifically love this um, large blending brush. It's just so soft and it buffs out the crease beautifully. Um, and then I really like this brush for um, cream and powder contour. I've used it a couple times. Um, so yeah, he's great for contour. This is good for blush or just packing powder all over the face. Um, you've got a little bit more of a skinny dome brush that you can use for contour or blush. So you really have a wide variety of brushes that you can use for multiple things in your makeup routine. So I think for a beginner, this is a great set to pick up. My next favorite brush that I have been using for quite some time now, this is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. I think this was recommended to me by um, Katie or Lester Lux, as some of you may know her here on YouTube. She had used it in one of her tutorials forever ago, and I instantly went and picked it up because it's like a $3 brush, and it looked so good. So this is my absolute favorite brush for setting underneath the eyes, setting my concealer. It fits perfectly right up underneath the lash line, and it is really soft. For being $3, it doesn't give me any problems. I will say that it may, um, I've noticed with more inexpensive brushes that the glue comes undone pretty quickly if you're not kind of gentle with your brushes. So if you're someone who's kind of rough with them, that may fall apart quicker, but it really hasn't been a problem for me. Um, and I keep them clean so it stays nice and soft and doesn't lose any bristles, and I just love it. Moving on to a blush and contour brush. This is the Morphe M556. I use this hands down in every single tutorial because this is my favorite brush in my collection, for sure. I love this brush. It is my blush brush, it is my bronzer brush, I probably have used it for just about everything. I, I just love it, it just fits perfectly in this area for contouring, bronzing, blush. It just fits perfectly in my cheek area, whether I'm contouring, bronzing. Um, obviously this isn't going to give like a super harsh contour, but that's not typically what I go for. So if you are someone that doesn't like a super harsh contour, then you should really try this brush. It's so nice. And I use it for blush. So I usually will 
do my bronzer or my contour, kind of dust it off, and then do my blush with it. So, really love this guy. It's very inexpensive, probably like 10 bucks, and it's lasted me a long time. I've been using it for forever. Another great contour brush. This is again from Morphe. This is the M523, and this one I think I actually saw Jaclyn Hill using, and she recommended it, and I decided to give it a try, and I love it so much. This is a natural hair brush. So again, it's not going to pick up a ton of product. It's going to be a little bit more forgiving, which is why I really like it for contour because it's very easy to get a little heavy handed with a bronzer or contour. So this brush is very soft. It's got a nice tapered shape. Again, the tapered shape is what really helps blend a product well because if you have a harsh a harsh shape it's not going to blend nicely it's going to stay harsh as you apply it so i really like brushes that do have kind of a tapered shape to apply powders because it's just going to blend it a lot better so um, i just like to either stipple or kind of softly blend my contour around my face with this as far as face brushes go like powder brushes i wanted to quickly mention this eco tools brush that i have been using for a while now um, i really like just large fluffy brushes for applying my face powder this one was very inexpensive and it's awesome quality I really want to try more of equal tools brushes because I was so impressed with this one and I've heard good things about them so he's just got a nice um, again tapered shape and a little bit of a point for more detail around the eyes um, but I just like to dip it in my powder and just buff this all over my face you might even be able to bronze with this brush it might be a good bronzer brush but I like it for my powder so another really great inexpensive brand that I like is Real Techniques so you can get Real Techniques at Target and Ulta as far as I know I think Walmart actually has some of their brushes now too um, and the equal tools is also at Walmart Ulta Target all those good places so this is um let's see i think this came as a set these three right here so this is a set that came together um you've got like a foundation a flat foundation brush a fluffy multitasking brush and then a small domed eyeshadow brush so as far as this set goes i use this guy the most this is the multitasker brush and i use this again in a lot of tutorials it's an awesome brush for so many different things. I've used it for blush, bronzer, contour, powder, um, anything. So it really is just a multitasking brush. And I feel like I wish that they had this alone, like sold separately, but I think it only comes in the set of three. But these are all three really great brushes. I use this for um, nose contour, and I'll use this sometimes when I want to apply my foundation with it. So um, it's almost worth it just to get this brush. And then another great Real Techniques brush is this guy. I don't know, let's see. This is called the Expert Face Brush. And this one's just a more dense um, face brush. I like to use this for cream contour. I think it blends it out really nicely. Um, and other than that, I think I've used it for foundation before too and it worked pretty good. So you could probably find a few uses for this guy as well. Last but not least, I did want to mention some brushes that are kind of newer to me that I have fallen in love with. These are the Mascara Beauty brushes. I mentioned Mascara Beauty in my most recent video, I believe is what it was, my um, new flawless foundation routine. And these brushes are such good quality, you guys. Look how stunning this packaging is. It's rose gold and gold right in the middle. And all of Mascara's brushes are double-ended and they are like Sephora quality if not better they are so nice so soft I especially love this guy right here I use this side for blush and this side for powder and bronzer and it just blends everything out really really great um, so yeah just really like these brushes they are um, a little bit more on the pricey side because you're getting two brushes in one so um, it's it's pretty much Sephora price, but you're getting two brushes, if that makes sense. Last but not least, I did want to mention another makeup tool that I feel like everyone needs. It's such a staple in my routine now. Um, I feel like I couldn't do my makeup without it, honestly. And this is a beauty sponge or a beauty blender, whatever you want to call it. Um, the beauty blender is actually the brand that's sold at Sephora. So technically, the sponges in general are just called beauty sponges. So if you've been following my channel from the beginning, you know that I used to buy my sponges at TJ Maxx for like $4. And they were really pretty good sponges. I mean, they were soft. They didn't fall apart too fast. I would say they were comparable to a beauty blender. Um, but then I discovered the Real Technique sponge. And this is 
absolutely hands down my favorite sponge from the drugstore. Um, this is, I think they're $7 and you can get them at Ulta, Target, anywhere that sells um, Real Techniques products. And this is just so soft. Um, it applies makeup beautifully. Um, you do want to make sure you get it really wet and squeeze it out really good because it does hold a little bit more water than like a beauty blender would. Um, so make sure you squeeze it out really good. So these are dry, um, so it's kind of small right now, but it does double in size when you get it wet. I just think this blends out foundation and concealer so beautifully. It just blends it in with the skin in a way that a brush can't. And then another really great sponge that I have fallen in love with recently is the mascara beauty perfector sponge this is their 3d perfector they have it in pink and blue this sponge is so soft it is softer than the real techniques it's softer than a beauty blender any other sponge I've tried which is why I love it so much um, it does work the best with the mascara products um, the material they use and the way they created it is meant to be used with their cream foundation um, but I have used it with other makeup as well and it does work well so um, but for the most part if I'm not using mascara I'll just use my real techniques one and then when I am using my mascara I'll use my mascara one Woo! we're done <laughs> I feel like I've been talking forever I can feel my voice starting to crack but that is it for all of my favorite makeup brushes I talked about Morphe real techniques BH cosmetics elf Sedona Lace, and Mascara. So those are all of the brands that I find good quality brushes in and I feel like I like the price range and everything else. So all of these brushes are very affordable, very good quality, great beginner brushes, great brushes if you're not a beginner. Um, I just really like them and I hope you guys will try some of them out and let me know if you like them as well and if they've helped you achieve a flawless makeup routine. Don't forget I always list everything I talked about in the description box below so I will have all of these brushes listed for you guys so you can find them really easily. If you guys have any video recommendations or requests definitely let me know in the comment section below. I would love your help on knowing what I should film next and I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.